Bitter. Harry roars at Meg as Netflix shows her sex scene in suits during King's birthday parade. What a disgrace. The relationship between Netflix and the Meghan family seems to have become very bad when, after the contract ended, Netflix used many tricks to retaliate against the Sussexes. They constantly attack and smear those who have caused great damage to the company. Fans will finally be able to stream Meghan Markle's hit series Suits on Netflix starting Saturday, the same day as King Charles' birthday parade. Although the monarch won't turn 75 until November 14th, the celebration is an age-old tradition hosted at the start of the summer to take advantage of the beautiful weather. Netflix announced the programming last month, writing on Twitter, Suits, the complete series, is coming to Netflix in the U.S. on June 17th. Netflix also hosts the royal couple's docuseries, Harry and Meghan, which premiered in December. The pair struck the deal estimated to be worth $100 million with the streamer for the six-episode bombshell. The Post reached out for reps for Markle and Buckingham Palace for comment. Suits chronicled the drama of a fictional NYC law firm, with Markle playing paralegal turned attorney Rachel Zane, who marries fellow lawyer Mike Ross. She starred on the USA Network series from season 1 in 2011 through season 7, with her final episode airing in April 2018, just weeks before she tied the knot with Harry. Suits marked Markle's first and final major acting project. Last year, she reflected on her role as an actress with Variety. The interviewer asked how palpable the toxicity was before she left the industry, especially amid movements such as Me Too and Oscars So White. Meanwhile, Markle and Harry have reportedly not been invited to King Charles' upcoming birthday celebrations amid Harry's ongoing legal action against MGN. I'm afraid it's a reflection of the state of relations at the moment, an unidentified source allegedly told Richard Eden last week. Harry did attend his father's coronation ceremony last month at Westminster Abbey, but only stayed in the UK for less than 24 hours, racing home for son Archie's fourth birthday. The couple also shared two-year-old daughter Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. The coronation marked the official transfer of power to King Charles after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. Meghan Markle seems to give big surprises to King Charles on his big day, as her hit drama suit is coming to Netflix, the same day as Trooping the Color. Prince Harry's wife, Meghan, and her co-star Patrick J. Adams both left their roles after season 7, Suits concluded with a ninth and final season in 2019. Suits is ready to reach a new audience for the first time with its Netflix premiere on June 17th, the same day as the first troop in the color of King Charles' royal reign. Meghan starred in the legal drama as Rachel Zane from 2011 to 2018 during the show's original run on USA Network. Shortly after Meghan and Harry announced their engagement in November, the cable channel announced that she was leaving the show and that the seventh season would be her last. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, in her engagement interview, confirmed she would no longer be acting at all. I don't see it as giving up anything. I see it as a change. Meghan and her co-star Patrick J. Adams both left their roles after season 7. Suits concluded with the ninth and final season. Suits' debut on the streamer comes six months after the Sussexes revealed docuseries Harry and Meghan dropped on Netflix and made history as the platform's biggest documentary debut ever with 81.5 million viewing hours. Some royal fans and experts see another blow to the royal family as it could overshadow the first trooping the color of King Charles' royal reign.